Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your hosts, Ricky and Steph. What up, what up, what up? And today on Movie Social, we're going to be doing a spoiler review for episode three of The Equalizer. All right. So uh, on episode three, a lot of things happened. A lot of things didn't happen that we thought would probably would have happened. But before we get into that, if you like what we're doing on this channel and you want to support us, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video and share the channel video with your family and friends. All right, so that, for episode three, did you think uh, Queen Latifah's character was going to get arrested by the detective when they met? No, <laughs> no, not at all. I thought he might still have a little impulse to arrest her after everything happens to still arrest her. But luckily, she was able to get out of there, out of the courthouse and all before that happened. Yeah, I mean, listen, that whole reveal about the judge and, and being corrupt and stuff, that was a great, man, that was a great storyline, to yeah. be honest with you. But I had a feeling something was up with her how she quickly responded back when the detective was asking. Like she didn't mm-hmm. come off like how most people like all right. So most DAs or judges, if you're questioning cases that they've done in the past to the point of some kind of corruption or cover up that they might have done, and they know they didn't, they get real defensive. She didn't get defensive at all. She was like, go ahead on the that. And uh, she lied right away. But that's a shame. All that just for some money, some pills. To sell, mm-hmm. to sell pills. You own multiple families' lives. Enough. Yep. Tell you, I trust this. I mean, that man was in jail for what, 10 plus years? 10 years. 10 years. That's crazy. Years. His child went and grown up and turned to a bad life because of those events. Another inmate lost his life trying to help him clear his name. Mm-hmm. Even the, one, the woman that was going to blow the whistle on the whole thing initially loses her life. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's Crazy. talk about the, how the son just wants to mention his pop, though. Yo, I was like, <laughs> really uh, of all things you were just trying to steal a car and you want to turn him in for the reward money mm-hmm. that's crazy I still don't even know the exact age of the son I'm like I don't know is he 17 is he 20 I know he's got to be in that range he can't be no more than 21 yeah I agree with that so here's my question right mm-hmm. <laughs> Will he get the reward money still, even though his father was proven to be innocent? Good question. I was thinking the same thing. I don't know how that worked. First of all, to me, I think the dad should be getting settlement money, regardless. Oh, for sure. A million of the lives lost. I personally think there should be a law for every year that you stay in, that you're in jail, wrongfully convicted of a crime that you didn't commit, you should get a million dollars for each year. And then if it's Cover up by the justice system themselves, it should be doubled per year. That's just my personal opinion, but something's got to give them. The only way they're going to stop making these mistakes and stop doing this if they pockets get hurt. Because I didn't hear any, like, that's like it was just, I didn't hear anything. That's what you start calling. Where I left it off. All the last thing I said was about the justice system and all that, my opinion on that. Oh, yeah. So just but, start from there. But honestly, they they definitely owe that man some serious money for that. Definitely I don't know agree. if this was just a, a show, but I'm just saying. Yeah, hey, definitely agree fact, with that. So well, I have a that, question. Do you mm-hmm. think they're going to team up uh, more? Um, McCall in the detective. I feel like they're going to team up a little bit more going forward. See, I don't know. Because he still states no to that effect because of what she does also sometimes cross the line of legality. And so he's not okay with that part. Yes, she's broken the law. 
to get the information they hacked into a different system. I mean, she's CIA now, though, again. But he does not know that. And technically, if you forget, the CIA cannot operate on U.S. soil. Yeah. For certain, for most things like that. And they didn't have a warrant for that information. The CIA still needs a warrant to hack, to get that information. Hmm. And on top of that, it's only her, not the whole team. That's true. She literally has a team of three. Pretty much. But I got a feeling they might collaborate on a few cases, but at some point it's going to get to the point where he's going to work it right or something. Or at least try. Because he tried yeah. tracking her phone. Yeah. And it couldn't. Because she already knew he was going to try that anyway. But honestly, he sees that she's not trying to do the wrong things. She's trying to get to help people to, for the right reasons and all, but it's still in the gray area for her. So we got to see either he's going to come over to her side completely or something to get one of the two sides. Two or, or, maybe, side. or maybe they'll have like a Batman. What's his name? What's that man's name? Commissioner I Gordon. There you go. That term. Really? Batman really? Commissioner Gordon. No, because you know how the relationship is. Yeah, you know. Batman. Everybody knows who Batman is, technically. Well, he knows who the equalizer is now. Yeah, it's only him. Nobody else really knows who she is. That's good. Keep it on the hush. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. What happens with them too? I mean, who knows? They might start dating. Oh, don't turn this into a love story, please. You never know. Don't do that. But uh, definitely uh, let us know what you think about that episode in the comments below. Uh, do you think uh, that both characters will uh, wind up working together again? Do you think uh, something's going to have to come to a head either? Queen Latifah's character is going to have to uh, give up what she's doing, the way that she's doing it, or he's going to come over to her side. Let us know what you guys think about that in the comments below. And until next time.